This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. G'day, g'day. Today's going to be a great one, everyone. We are going to talk about having too much of the one thing in the one room. Yes. Yeah, a couple of right ones here. Well, how do you call for help if you don't have a working phone? You're going to hear some amazing stories. Uh, are we going to put in anything of flash food? I think today? probably we should. You know, yeah, a couple of big winners going. today. Yeah. Yes, and okay. Ellie a couple of big went losers to the shop well. and Ellie bought something. Yes, spontaneously. It was an impulse purchase. On a whim. Purchase. What yep. could that be? This is Nathan, Nat and Sean. Yeah. On Nova 937. <laughs> It's four past six. Nathan Nat and Sean. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. What a start to the morning. Um, uh, we've got Sam here. Sam went to a very special dinner last night. Sam, <laughs> now showing us the person who thinks is the hottest. <laughs> Sam, what was the dinner? Uh, the Sandover medal. Oh, okay. How yes, much Sandover. fun did you have? Oh, that was so much fun. Because <laughs> you're going to listen to a vote count. <laughs> yeah. For starters. Did which, you realise? Did anybody yeah. tell you? Did you know what you're going to? Um. I, I, I kind of knew just what like I was getting myself feed. into. I just wanted a free feed and to dress up. Um, it was it was actually nice. I learned a lot. There was a lot of history in the room. Which was um, nice. Tell yeah, me about what you room. ate. What were they serving? Um, I had a big medallion of sirloin beef. Lovely. With vegetables. Yes. Was lovely. A jus. Yes. But pricey. And it, uh, it's, I got a bone to pick with her. Who should we work with her? Yes. Uh, she put me down as a gluten-free menu. Oh, no. Why? No. That's no. mean. Without that me just... well. That's nasty. What a yeah. stitch up. I'm going to bring it up. But it's a really side. funny thing to do to friends. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what a great, what a great it's stitch brutal, up. It's brutal. What a great brutal. stitch up. And then just, like, if you're going out for dinner with your friends, just speak to the restaurant beforehand. Go, do not offer them anything that's, that's not right. That's, that's got right. gluten in there. They'll want They'll it. Die. They cannot have it. Yeah. <laughs> and they're very, very litigious. And what did you wear? Um, I had a little tuxedo. Oh, where did you just get a that from? One. I actually borrowed it from Ross. <laughs> Did you really? That's fantastic. Well, Ross is always doing functions. Come on, mate. Why don't you do what every young man does and hop on down to Ferrari formal (laughs) (laughs) bed? With the matching cummerbund and vest set. (laughs) King size, big and tall. (laughs) Oh, you? You'd be able to fit 20 of you in a pair of pants Talk yourself up. You know, you're only a what if away from a holiday with whatif.com. You could go to the dentist or all the kids' sports. But what if it was a weekend on the coast instead? Book hotels, holiday rentals, apartments. And more. What if it's Aussie for travel? Sip and save your way through the Swan Valley and try something new at Entwined in the Swan Valley. Book now at entwinedinthevalley.com today, you. All right, here we go with a round of Flash Foods. All you need to do is team up with one of us to identify the food item that is on our flashcard. We give you clues that are three words long. Up for grabs, there's a Sinful Gin Distilling Masterclass at Sin Gin for you and a friend, plus a $200 gift card and $500 Sean, flash. I've got a question. Yes, friend. Who runs the world? Girls! That's right. <laughs> Natalie and Ellie are going to be paired up with two callers. The first one that gets to choose his partner is John from Armadale. Ooh, no Hi, wrong John. answers here, John. Hello, John. <laughs> hey, John. Hey, how's it going? Great, John. Mm. So, as you know, Natalie, um, she was successful over Sean yesterday. Well, um, I mean, is it a victory? Yeah, yeah. Amazing stuff. Uh, but then we've got... Overtime. Then yeah, we've we got Ali Oop, who seems to have the spirit of a warrior trapped mm. inside and then just gets released. <laughs> Super competitive. Don't pick me. At a whim, Don't John. What do you think? About, what do you reckon, John? I'll go the alley oop. Ellie! Ellie! John oh, and Ellie. <laughs> Amanda from Bentley, hello. How are you? Good morning, how are you? That means um, you get me, Amanda. The reigning champion, Amanda. Was, yeah, you were my choice, Nat. Mm. That's okay. You know I mean, what? I wouldn't even call any, you slops. Any team is only as good as the, so their partner. So <laughs> So it's on these guys. It is on you two as well. So just back off with the pressure, you two. (laughs) You will each get a minute with us randomly throwing you three-word clues to help you identify. All of the answers are food items. You um, can pass at any time if you're just absolutely baffled and the person giving the clues can pass as well. Yes, it cannot be rhyming. Uh, You can't say any part of the word on the card. We know... We know the rules. Doesn't matter so if three I think words. Sure. Three yeah. words. That's absolutely yeah. true. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So today there's been some controversy over who is going to be showing the flashcards. Sean McManus is doing it, which um, uh, worries Natalie. Does oh, just, you know. Does it worry Amy more so, our producer? Yeah, I think so. Yes. <laughs> okay. Amy didn't want Sean to do it. No. Neither John no. and Ellie, you're up first. <laughs> All right, John, let's do this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need you to read my mind. 60 seconds starts now. Um, yellow, sloppy, sweet. Banana? No. Keep going. Guess, guess, guess. 
Yellow floppy sweet. Custard. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, breakfast cereal bricks. Wheat bix. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, pass. Oh, what? Uh, peanuts. Uh, noodles. Uh, Megarang. Keep going, keep going. Uh, spaghetti. Uh, pass, pass, pass. <laughs> that oh, dice. Yeah. So hard. <laughs> uh, fruit. Uh, uh, yellow. Um, um, swingers. <laughs> Are you? Is that a great you? clue? It is. Pass. Pass. It was pineapple. Pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, on crackers. So in here. Oh. <laughs> she screamed at you on crackers. <laughs> on crackers, which I meant mean, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so we got one. one. Oh no. Were they yeah. harder, oh, or were you really but... bad then? They were I can't hard. determine. How would you describe one better than none. Can no, you I'm go, Ali, and get Ali Oop, the person <laughs> that John you, asked for? I couldn't find her. I John, okay. that was a stiff one for you, mate. Amanda, Amanda, John. John. Amanda, I've got high hopes for us. Okay. Oh yeah, Matt. Better than one. I don't know. We don't know, Amanda. You might be terrible at this. I don't know. Okay. I know. I could be, but right. I'm trying. Fingers got, crossed. Are you, got high hopes. Yeah, you guys know the rules. We're going to put a minute on the clock. Let's begin now. Um, flat like pikelet. Uh, pancake. Yes. Yes. A uh, crate. Um, oh. No, you were right you with it. pancakes. Um, <laughs> Keep guessing, though. Fish. Cat food. <laughs> um, tuna. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. She's one. Um, pass. That was toasty. We've won anyway. Um, <laughs> salami, salami on pizza. Um, chorizo, uh, pepperoni. Yes, pepperoni, yes. Um, um, yep. Spanish dessert. Spanish dessert. Uh, churros. Yes. yes. Yep. Um, Middle Eastern dip. Uh, tzatziki. No. Um, um, hummus. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, Popeye's. Vegetable. Finish. Yes. <laughs> so massacre. <laughs> Go now. <laughs> um, Italian wrongly pronounced. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was bruschetta. Don't worry about it. We won. So oh, no, sorry. Six. Six. Good game. Six. Six. One. Six. Six. One. Six. And, oh, and even one. once you got them right, Amanda, you kept guessing the Amanda, same Amanda, you were things. terrific at this Probably game. Weird. You are off to have a Sinful Gin Distilling Masterclass. That's <laughs> Sin Gin for you awesome, and a friend. Plus a $200 you. gift card and $500 cash. Ali, where did we hey, go? Hey, I'm only, only as good as the DJ. Yeah, yeah, right. So okay. that's yeah. you now. Yeah. It was a t- oh. teamwork makes a no, joke. No, you're a DJ. Ali, where did that all go wrong, do you think? Was it the time? Was it the time? Describe to me peanuts in three words. That was um, really hard. Elephants yeah, eat yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Elephants eat them. Kids' allergy cause. So, uh, well, 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 well no, Pad Thai was a difficult one. Pad Thai was hard. No, sorry, can you explain the swingers thing? Yeah. You put I'm pineapple. pineapple. If you put a pineapple in your mouth, it's a signifier. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I come home sometimes, I'll sit out the front door and I'll just walk in and grab it. I don't know what She was like, oh, it's there, tropical yeah. fruit day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just... Now I'm onto it. Well, don't hey, ever everybody. leave a button up pumpkin out of your front of your house. <laughs> you'll end up with some real yeah. sick stuff. Well, you'll find out. Um, yeah. we, we have another later. round later this morning when um, it's Nathan v. Sean. Will it be another massacre? Could be. Could Who be. Knows? This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Can we talk about what Ali Ellie did? Yeah. Ali, what did you do? <laughs> and why didn't you tell us about this yesterday? Because I was still coming to terms with it. Right. Okay, so, uh, so I'm a bit in shock. You know when you're at the shop and you impulse buy something? Yes. Mm. This would never happen to me. So I went into a um, pe- uh, pet shop um, to get dog biscuits and I left with a cat. You, <laughs> you left, left with, with a cat? cat. Yeah. Why? Because he was all alone in, I, for adoption. They, and then they go and back was, and get get another one from no. the pile of cats. They've got. They do. That one. works, by the way. Just say he's alone. He was, <laughs> he was a rescue kitten. He yes. was like four months old, and someone adopted his brother. And so they, they told. Uh, oh, this is my mean. problem. I asked. I said, "Has there been any inquiries about there was him?" No brother. No one wanted him. It's a single child. Oh, Ellie. Two, two weeks. weeks. And then two I said, weeks. They played you like. And then I said, "Do you at least take him home overnight so he can, you know, have a cuddle?" And they said, no, we leave him here. So I had to go and get him. Oh, how did Sorry. Dougie go with that when you brought home another animal? Yeah, look, oh, I got the whole, this is your responsibility. Oh, you got the stern yeah. responsibility, yeah, I got, chat. I got the chat. Yeah. So um, uh, you've already got a pet? 
We've got two. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got, got a cat got and a, dog. Um, yeah. One-eyed cat, Rufus. Yes, Rufus. Um, and Rufus is not happy with it's me. Really no, they don't really so like it when you bring a new cat no, home. They will, he will adjust. Yeah, you've got to keep them separated. Yeah, they don't like it. And then you've got to, like, encourage the... Like, there's lots of hissing going on. So Ali yeah. wants a name to go with Rufus that starts with R. Yeah. I'm just Googling some names. What about Ringo? Mm, no. Ringo! No. No? <laughs> Say it again, though. Ringo. 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 <laughs> it's got a, it's got a good... Ringo. Ringo, yeah. Ringo and Rufus? Ringo. Oh, actually, the more I say it... Yeah. Ringo, it's nah. super cute. And I said um, Remy. Remy's cute. Remy. Yeah, Remy. Yep. Remy? No. Rocco? What about Rocco? No. Nah. You said you wanted something a bit Italian. Yeah. 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 Rocco. Rocco's, a Rocco's good, yeah. yeah. Rodman, 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 Rodney, 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 Rudolph. Rodney. Ronan. Rodney. You don't want to name me cut Ronan. Rodney is pretty funny. <laughs> Rodney. Rufus Rod. and Rodney. Roddy. Ronan. <laughs> Roddy. Rory. Rory. You call that anyway, oh, no. don't you? <laughs> what about Roscoe? <laughs> No, reminds Rowan. Me, reminds me of Ross on Nova. Okay, so that's a mm, hard pass. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, then I guess right. Hot Ross is out. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. I want to move on to ask you guys a really personal question. Sure. Oh, good. Mm. <laughs> Do you yeah, partake just, yes. in viewing live stream cameras, like live oh. stream feeds? Oh, oh there's a couple. <laughs> 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 Depends on who's at home. That's the only thing. My ex used to periodically um, tune in to a live stream of a light bulb in a fire yes. station in yep. America somewhere. I want to say in Washington. We spoke stage. about it on this show. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's been going yep. since like for yep. about a hundred years. The filament's years. never broken. Yeah. Um, so people are keep having yeah. a look. And, and say sometimes there's a there's a there's a bird that's got a nest on the side of a building yeah. and then suddenly yes, people yes. in an office will set up a live stream. Yeah. And then thousands of people around the mm. world will watch it. Yeah. Like, it's the best what, TV. Can you make money out of that? What? Can you make money out of that? If well, you, you can that? with your advertising if you yeah. get enough it, idiots watching a light bulb. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we do it with just surf cams checking things out. And remember only a couple of months ago when that guy was attacked by the shark down at yeah. um, uh, in Margaret River? Yes. That was coming off a surf cam. It was, People yes. watching it live. You could well, see stuff, yeah. How is this? Splash. A live stream uh, that was provided by Alex Explore.org has actually saved a guy's mm. life. Now, this was happened on Dumpling Mountain. Doesn't oh, that sound delightful? Dumpling Mountain <laughs> in Alaska. I mean, that's a bit cruel because if you're, you're starving yeah. and it's like dumplings. God, I love dumplings. I dumplings. Who loves a dumpling? So anyway, yeah. um, on Dumpling uh, Mountain, there was a live, ca- uh, live camp so people could spot the bears. Yes, it's, it's a bear spotting yes. season. Yes, oh, that's bears. cool. I'd yeah. like to see that. And um, people were... On there, and strangely enough, the people from Explore.org said they don't understand why there were so many people alerted them to to, the, to what had happened because it was such foggy conditions you wouldn't have seen. It wasn't great bear spotting, but like you know, <laughs> your ex who was the light bulb watcher, mm. they don't care. No, no that's right. And yeah. they did see something. A hiker walks up to the bear cam, uh, and he looks really exhausted. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he just wants to go home, and he mouths, "I'm um, lost and help me" to the camera. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then they all uh, contacted the authorities and then the guy got rescued. Isn't that amazing? He couldn't call anyone because no. there's no phone reception up on Dumpling Mountain. Otherwise, he just would have oh, been hungry. Some dumpling. We rely on our phones so much yes, nowadays that you think about it. If there is any emergency or if you need help with something, mm. you go to your phone. If you don't have your phone with you, what do you do? Or, or there's no coverage. Yeah. You're what do screwed. you do? Yeah. Like, how do you get help? Is it like making like a signal, like a smoke signal? Is yeah. it just like screaming? Is it banging on something? Is it writing out help with rocks? In the sand, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Hopefully someone comes well, across if it. You do, if you do write out help, make sure you dismantle it after you've been helped because otherwise forevermore that help is there and then people think... Do we need to help? Oh, but then again, no. But then again, then if you do become stranded, you know where to go. Go to the help rocks. <laughs> so <you laughs> so go to the help rocks on Dumpling Mountain. <laughs> and then come back to them and rearrange them if need be. I'd love to hear if people have been in this situation. I know. We want to know um, when you how you managed to get help mm. when you didn't have a phone or phone coverage. How did you have to get inventive or creative to get people's attention to save you? Mm. This is also, great. here's a cautionary tale. Don't write help me on the... Uh, inside of a window. Yes. Nathan yes. Morris. Of the, of perhaps of the Nova newsroom. Because
because about a year later, somebody will spot it and call the police. That actually happened. But then again, it happened here. Like that person, if I did abduct them and hold them in the newsroom after a year, they would have been well dead. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the police came in and had to like we're, we're like, oh no, sorry, that was yeah. a joke a year ago, and yeah. um, they're like, we do just need to go yeah. and check in yeah. that room to make so sure funny. there's nobody That's being fair. held on. Because I wrote it in reverse yeah. on the window, so the people there was some pe- workers over the on the regal on the roof, and they spotted it and called the police. A year later. Because someone's being held captive in the Nova 937 <laughs> newsroom, I think it's which Ellie. is surrounded it by <laughs> <a> microphone. <laughs> that's right, because they won't pay us. She can't get out. Um, we're going to give somebody $200 cash. There you go. Oh, Cold, just, harsh cash. Oof. Uniquely Aussie experiences are only a what if away. Book your next trip on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? All right, hopefully you've got your phone with you now, yeah. and you can ring us to say, how you called for help when you didn't have your phone? Uh, I remember hearing a story for Paul Fisher, the uh, famous DJ, when he was stuck. Paul Fisher, the you famous know, DJ. You know, yes, Fish. Sean, we all oh, had Ministry of Sound CD. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, he had to swim for it over oh. in Queensland. And they got to an island where they was just surrounded by snakes and stuff like that. But the only way that they could get help was to swim there. They swam to help. the Snake Island to yeah. get help. Yeah. Did they spell out help with snakes? snakes. <laughs> that would so actually be very read. easy. <laughs> <laughs> I go run hot. Now stay. <laughs> <laughs> e, you're moving. <laughs> Let's go to June in Secret Harbour. Hi, June. Hi, guys. How you doing? Hi, hey, June. Okay, June, how do you uh, call for help if you don't have your phone? So I used to live in a unit complex that was very small and my one-year-old son decided to lock us in the in his room because we had the lock on the other side. So he used to lock us on the outside. Like yes. the inside. So I was trapped in there, me screaming out, hopefully someone in my complex would hear me screaming for help for over half an hour, going, help, help me please, someone help. <laughs> and, I'm, and they're all like, what's going on? And I'm like, I can't get out. My son and I are locked in his room and we can't get out. Like, well, how are we going to get in here anyway? You have to go to another complex, go through my you know, side door, which I normally lock. Luckily, I kept it unlocked because I was doing the washing. And they jumped through the back door, like back to the fence, through my backyard, through my house, and then unlocked the door to let me wow. out over an hour. I was stuck in there. And oh. I can say, you know what? Wait, having do to I get, smash a window or do I not? <laughs> having to get someone to um, go through your house without yes. having tied it up first. I, I think I'd just rather live in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 They're going to judge me for this, aren't they? <laughs> They're coming to save you and they'll judge you. Oh, no, forever. the cushions aren't right on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to think I'm a pig. Thanks, Sheena. Alicia's in High Wickham. Hello. Hi. How Hi, Alicia. 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 Okay, what happened? When did you need help but you couldn't call for it? So in May, Mum and I went to New Zealand for a little family trip and we were staying in Queenstown at the time and we decided to go for a drive through Skipper's Canyon. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not too sure if you know, yeah. Skipper's Canyon is New Zealand's most dangerous road and it is one of the most isolated places. I've in the world. Well, going wrong. Can I tell you, I've driven on that road and I had um, a really sore wrist because I fell at Puzzle World mm. That's in right. um, Wanaka mm. or Wanaka. Mm. Don't, don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, yeah, and I had to drive the, that, that road with one arm. That was did it. you yeah, survive? Did, I did. Oh, did you okay, call great. for help? Great no. outcome. What's that? So, Alicia, what happened? So, I decided that I would like to go down to this place called Mary's Flat or Mary's Point. Yep. Yeah. Um, to have a look at a waterfall. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went down and we got stuck in this little divot in the road, the gravel road. Yeah. And we tried to reverse back out, but <laughs> the car dug itself into the ground. <laughs> so we tried everything. We tried wedging a rock between the tyre to get it up. Yep. And we got out of the car and found that the car was up on three wheels. So one of the wheels was about a metre up in the air. Yeah, oh, it's getting wow. no traction at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we was we were stuck there for about two hours, no cell reception. It was raining. It was so cold. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun was almost about to set. Yeah. So middle of winter, possibly snowing. Um, and, yeah, so two hours later, I decided that I would go for a walk back up the road, which is about 10 k's to the shot over cannon. Um, oh, the, yeah, 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 the bungee thing. Yeah, and it started to rain, so I turned back around again. You, you know, you're not supposed to leave your car. Anyway, two hours passed again, and 
I feel like we're living it in real time, Alicia. Alicia. We've got to go to the news in 20 minutes. Are we going to get there? Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, That's okay, sweetheart. (laughs) Keep going. We're enjoying it, though. You didn't tell me what shoes you were wearing. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Let it go. Let it speak. (laughs) This guy comes in and he wedges us out. So after three hours of being stuck in a... Isolated part, we oh. get put out by this random guy. Oh, that's nice. I mean, so, yeah. that's what you need in that situation. But the I mean, also, guy. you're a little bit. Is this Wolf Creek? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you yeah, relying exactly. on the kindness of strangers? Yeah, but at that point, you just surrender yourself to the fate that's presented. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because the option is <laughs> you know to I mean? stay there and freeze. Not, look, if I, if I could possibly get murdered with him, but I know I'm definitely not staying here for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Alicia. Alicia. All right. We want to know, when you needed help, but you couldn't call for it because you didn't, your pho- no phone reception or whatever, so what did you do? Yeah, just keep it to a minimum, please. $200 <laughs> cash up for grabs. We can get to the point. We can get to it. Boom. God. Isabel's in Lansdale. Hey, Izzy. Hey, how are you? Good, mate. Good, Isabel. Okay, what happened, Isabel? All right, so in July, uh, me, part, my partner and my 11-month-old were in Bali. And um, at the time, he was off, um, you know, he was out for the day. Yes. And it was just me and the little one in the resort. And um, so we we're, down, we're out on the balcony doing bubbles. And down at the pool, <laughs> um, there was, yep. Yeah, there was um, like a DJ playing. There was a bit of a party going on, so yeah. it was really loud. And somehow we got locked on the balcony. <laughs> and for 20 minutes, I'm waving my hand, you know, trying to call out help. To a dance help. party. in time to the music, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Spelling no out one... help with the bubbles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one could hear us. So um, I ended up just not throwing her over, but <laughs> holding my little one at the, over the balcony. Oh, like Michael and Jackson did with blankets. Yeah, like yes. Someone noticed us because me waving my hands looked like we were dancing away wow. from music. So I'll grab my baby by the leg and swing it around. Yeah. <laughs> so that grabbed someone's attention? Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely got someone's attention. Or Everyone came over to the balcony and said, you know, they got the music turned off and we did get help by the maintenance <laughs> men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a cool. you got to do uh, extreme things sometimes. Yeah. Oh, Oh, Thanks, my. Izzy. Karen's in Jindalup. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, Hi, Karen. Karen. What happened? Oh, well, my, my husband, uh, stepson, and I, uh, we went to my village in England. Uh, I've, even though I've got an Aussie accent, I was originally born in uh, England. Mm. Uh, so we're in this tiny Yorkshire village. We've just um, arrived from Australia, and we've hired out the local pub, you know, these tiny yes. little, uh, little pubs. Top floor, three rooms. We've we've got them all, yeah. and um, we've got other people coming. Uh, anyway, uh, we we just went to bed, and nobody told us how to get out of the top floor of this pub. <laughs> so we got up thinking, you know, we would just go downstairs and walk through the pub and go out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we get up. It's all it's all locked up. Locked up. There's a big door there, um, a fire door that says "Do not exit through here" because you'll set fire alarms off. Okay. And again, you know, in this tiny Yorkshire village, so we're thinking. Oh, God, you know, we don't want to give anyone a heart attack. You know, we better not go out there. Yeah. So we're, hang- we're hanging out the window, <laughs> calling to all the local people walking their dogs. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going, uh, excuse me, mate, you know, my best Aussie accent, yeah. you know. Um, and we're stuck. Can somebody please help us? And they're all just looking at us like, oh, bloody hell, you know, what's wrong with them? You know, <laughs> <Bloody> Australians. <laughs> this, yeah, this went on for ages. And I said to my husband, who is 63, but... He's a, a window cleaner, so he's a bit like a monkey, you know. He's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. used to the outsides of buildings, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. So he's, he gets through this tiny crack in the window. No and, yeah, seriously. And shimmies down the pole no. like, like the pro that he is. He's listening, by the way. <laughs> he's <is> awesome. <laughs> like that he is. Yeah, and he runs over to my cousin's house. He lives down the road, and he's jumping up and down, and my cousin's in the shower, <laughs> and she's upstairs, and she's going, oh, look, there's our mark there, hey, look, you know, and <laughs> just, just left him, you know. I didn't think there was anything wrong. So he runs back. By the time uh, James and I had caught somebody's attention, uh, and they happened to be the cleaner. So the cleaner came upstairs and said, oh, we forgot to tell you, you have to go out the fire exit. Oh, oh the one that says, oh, you the one that says absolutely it. do not exit here. Yeah. But my favourite thing of this story, yeah. Karen, is you didn't want to use the exit in case you alarmed the residents yes. of the village, but yet you're hanging out of the window going, help us! <laughs> to alarm <laughs> the them. residents of the village. That's so funny. <laughs> Good idea, Karen, thank you. Lauren's in Wanneroo. Hello. <laughs> Hi, how are you going? Hey, Hi, Lauren. Lauren. Okay, what happened that you needed help? 
Um, so I went for a shower one night. Um, I finished my shower, went to get out, rather didn't have a towel. Um, and my housemate was asleep. I was like, oh, I'll just do a nudie run. So <laughs> I went, to open the, went to open the door and the door wouldn't open. Yes. Um, it was locked from the outside for some reason. So I'm banging on the door, trying to get my housemate to wake up and let me out. Banging on the door, banging on the door, nothing. He's donk, fully asleep. Um, so I waited an hour, still nothing, still banging on the door. So I ended up taking the shower curtain off the shower, yes. using that as a blanket and the hot water and just sleeping in the shower. Oh, <laughs> Lauren, so you, just, you never got help. It never came. So how long no, were you there, Lauren? Lauren. I knew it. Six in the morning, you'd be awake. So I just waited till the next morning. He walked in and was like, Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping in the shower? <laughs> the shower, <laughs> the shower, shower wrapped around. <laughs> oh, that's a miserable <laughs> night, Lauren. Because think about shower curtains, they're not known yes. for their warmth. No, it's not <laughs> no. their main feature, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Lauren, that's, that yeah. is so funny. Thank you, everybody. Making Great your stories. worst nightmare. <laughs> My worst nightmare. Naked, yeah. Oh, God, you have to strategically place that loofah. Right. Yeah, yes. definitely. $200 cash. Uh, uniquely, Aussie experiences are only a what if away? Book your next trip on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? Lauren, that's hard to beat. Lauren! Lauren in the shower curtain. <laughs> well done, mate. Great work, Lauren. Thank you. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. Nova's 100 grand. Or That was Sia with Chandelier. She's a, a featured artist today, Chelsea from Ardross. Hello. Hi, oh my God. Chelsea. 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 This is so exciting. You get to make a great choice yeah. here, Chelsea. Now, um, uh, usually it's uh, the choice of uh, $100,000, a chance of winning that, or $100 in the mm-hmm. hand. Not today, Sean. It's $1,000. Mm-hmm. You get the yes. choice, obviously. Mm-hmm. The choice. The ch- ch- choice. Uh, yes. So $1,000 or go in the draw with, at the moment, 416 other people, yeah. but mm-hmm. uh, maybe win $100,000. Can I just say, right, mm-hmm. Chelsea, I'm just loving your enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. She's on the edge of a seat. She is mm-hmm. giddy. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're, whenever we've heard anyone that I feel is going to choose the 100 k mm-hmm. they don't show this much enthusiasm. No, that's true. That's yeah. true. Um, yesterday, <laughs> our contestant was from Applecross. Today, just down the road from Ardross, another nice suburb. City of Melville, of course, Chelsea, but $1,000. <laughs> where, where are you sitting with this? Um, I'm definitely leaning more towards the thousand dollars. I thought that might be. Now, the tell, case. tell me, tell me, tell me, you, tell me, tell me why? Why a thousand dollars? Talk to me. Um, my car rego is due next month, so <laughs> oh. it's definitely gonna help to pay that off. Yeah, yeah. sure. And yeah. I've just been thinking about buying a MacBook recently, so that will help mm. as well. Anything, yeah. will, anything will help. Mm. I see the new yeah. Apple stuff's coming out. Yes, yeah, the new mm. iPhone they reckon is going to be over three thousand dollars for the top model. That yeah. is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I know yeah, we say that every time though, and every I'll buy it. People buy it. it. That's right. I'll buy it hands down. All right, Chelsea, you've won $1,000. Woo! Thank you so much. Easy money, Chelsea. Oh, my gosh. Pays to play in our show. All week we're giving the potential to have $1,000. It's emotional, isn't it? Are you going to buy something, Chelsea, with that money? Send us a beer or two? Yeah, Definitely. Yeah. Do you want us to um, send you a Nova sticker for your laptop? <laughs> oh, my God, yes, please. <laughs> oh, good no, on you, Chelsea. Um, this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. For grabs this round, a vineyard walk and digger station at Upper Reach Winery. That's a lovely spot, actually. Um, for you and a friend, plus 200 bucks cash. Uh, uh, sorry, $200 gift card and 500 bucks cash. Nice. That's me. <laughs> Tell you later. Okay. Um, yeah. Our contestants, oh. Marina from Menorah. Hello, Marina. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Good morning Marina. Marina. You're very lucky to have called through first, mm. Marina. It's your choice. Now, you, would you like to, che- uh, to team up with Nathan Morris? Hi. Or with Sean McManus? Oh, tough choice. Um, maybe Nathan. Nathan oh, said. thank you, Marina. Wow, Thanks Sean. For was there really any sarcasm in making that? it look like you were deliberating? Yeah, I know. Marina. I she believed went, her. She went to the one person that sort of has a professional athlete on their resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That means Coralie from Beachborough, you're teaming up with Sean. Hi, Coralie. 
Hi, how you going? Hi, Good, Carly. Carly. You were going to choose Sean anyway, weren't you, Carly? Oh, absolutely. That's you right. I have an auntie, right. Carly, and she's a wonderful lady, That's and true. you will be too, so no doubt. Rose Mum, yeah? Up. Yes, yeah. we'll team yeah. up well. Mom. All right, uh, Marina, because you chose first, you're going first, okay? <laughs> oh, we're doing yeah. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here's, here's what's going to happen. Um, I am, you will have a minute on the clock. I'm going to hold up flashcards with foods on them to Nathan. He's going to describe that. In three words, and you have to guess it from his three-word description. It um, as many as you can in a minute. Oh. You can pass at any time. You can have multiple guesses yep. of, at any time. So Nathan can pass if he thinks it's too hard. You can pass if you're just not getting it. Yep. Um, are we clear? No repeating. You can't no repeating. say any part of no. the word. You I can't won't. rhyme. I would never, Natalie. I would never spit in the face <laughs> of this game. Marina, we are a team, aren't we? We are. Let's we're do ready. it. Let's do it, sister. Okay. Oh, ready. my God. Wait, it's just Nathan. dawned on me. This is happening. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's a lot of pressure. You know how I am with pressure. Take the pressure down. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, Nathan and Marina, your minute That's starts good. now. Oh, um, uh, patch, vegetable, orange. Strawberry. No, patch, vegetable, uh, orange. Pass. Pumpkin. Uh, crustacean, seafood, claws. Crab. Yes. yes. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> Asian cylindrical fried. Oh, good. Oh, um, <clears throat> no idea, pass. Spring, Spring rolls. rolls. Oh, um, uh, cake, whole, cinnamon. Bung. No. Great hole. I should have done... Another guess? <laughs> Do you want to pass? Pass. 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 That was going oh, up. round Italian cheese. Pizza. Yes. Oh, cereal, colours, toucan. Fruit loop. Yes. Oh. oh. Sausage in a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage in a bun. You could come back last couple. You got three, oh, Marina and Nathan. Oh, terrible. Oh, big okay. word this morning. Cylindrical. That was a good clue. That was I know. a good clue. I didn't even do math in year 11 Fair. or 12. <laughs> Fair. Sean, Spring no. roll. Sean. You can't say that. Sean and Coralie, are you ready? <laughs> oh, no, I'm Coralie, you ready? <laughs> yeah, you, your squad of beat is three. Yeah, oh, Natalie, put okay. out all the hard ones. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just delivering them as they come, Nathan. Okay, thank you. All right, Coralie. Are you ready? Yes. Your 60 seconds starts now. Uh, Asian uh, base food. Yeah. Base food. Hmm. Noodles. No? Another no. guess? Um, pass. Yeah, it right. Rice. I that bad. Um, oh, pass. Oh. <laughs> uh, shriveled grapes. Uh, Sultanas. Yep. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, uh, mm. hot metal. I've oh, not passed. I don't know how to do that one actually. <laughs> fuck you, hot chicken. metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hot water. Is that one word? No, that's two no, words. words. Oh. Yep. A uh, wobbly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that one? Two. Spaghetti. No. no. <laughs> no pass. <laughs> that was jelly. Green. Uh, Vegetable? Yes. Sandwich. Bok choy. Um. Sandwich. Oh, oh, what over. happened? It's over. What happened? Oh, Who won? What happened? Oh, that was cool. terrible by me. Wait, they want to Coralie and, uh, and Sean got one. That means Nathan. <laughs> Marina! Well, Marina! <laughs> I don't know how we won, and then I remembered, oh no, we're going against either. Sean. Jesus. <laughs> Sean, hot metal. That was hot I didn't metal. know what to do with barbecue hot metal. chicken. What about um? What about bachelor's handbag? Poultry. You used to use it before poultry. Mm, no, yeah, it didn't come to me at all. Obviously, no. Oat milk. What would you do with oat milk? Yeah, um, I do one. porridge, white liquid. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, oat that milk is tough. Um, you've won, <laughs> Marina. A vineyard walk and bigger station at Upper Reach Winery. If you and a friend, plus a two hundred dollar gift card and five hundred dollars cash. Well done. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Well right. done, Marina. What well, was a triumph, wasn't it? That green thing at the end was lettuce, everybody. Lettuce. Mm. Green salad vegetable. No? That would have been good. Salad. What do I salad? say? My favourite is, my favorite is sandwich. Asian base food. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Asian <laughs> base food. Maybe Jasmine or yep. Baz Martin. Yeah, yeah. Long grain. Oh, mate, we're all good in hindsight. <laughs> oh, mate, go on. Long grain, chopsticks. No, that's too easy. Otherwise, it would have been close.
you're right. Yeah, that's true. We can't yeah. have that. Yeah. Um, we're doing it again tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? We'll make Sean play again. What do you reckon? Oh, I think so. Until he gets it right. I think, you know what? I, I think the people deserve it. <laughs> <Okay>. That's, <laughs> that's what cool. they want. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. I caught the uh, block yesterday, last night, mm. Um, mm. and this is the day after the room reveals where all the other couples go in and have a look at everyone's Oh, work. yeah, okay. and super criticise the winners. Yeah, they super do, of course. Super critical. Uh, Steph and Gian, Ste- uh, Steph, if you haven't been watching it, she's an architect, so she thinks that she's going to bring all of this sort of stuff yes. to the table. Been a bit of growing pains, like, for her bringing that to this show. Yes. But they've been doing really well. They've actually... Well, what's what's the style they're doing? Japandi. Yes. Like, Japanese Scandinavian. So it's kind of a minimalism right. with a bit of warmth, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> bit, a bit of timber. <laughs> anyway, Andy, stuff. Uh, they were usually get really high praise because yes. they've got a really, really nice style, but um, they were slammed in the judging because they said that they over-accessorised mm. the room. So this and is a living like, dining room, yeah. yeah? And when they say that sort of stuff, mm. you don't really see to what extent the judges are talking about because mm. you just see what the show shows. Sure. Mm. Anyway, Leah and Ash, another couple, they are very critical and they, decide, they went in to have a look at the uh, room and to give their opinions. They've walked into the dining room and, yes, they've now pointed out how this room was over-accessorised. Um, this is Leah. This is Leah. This is Leah. This is Leah. Is Leah. No, this is Hello. Leah. <laughs> One second. Uh, our, our system's just failed us. <laughs> this is the downs. This I don't want to tell fault. anyone because I want her to say it. Here we go. No, nope. This is Leah. Wait, yeah. Say it again. This is Leah. He's going to close it down and try and open up again. So so all of the uh, contestants get to go and check out each other's handiwork. And Um, this is Leah. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, my God. What? 17 pots in one room. (laughs) You can't even blame that on the lack of sleep because you've actually physically picked up a pot. You bought 17 of them and bought them home. That's a yeah. whack job there. So we now, <laughs> we now know was, she wasn't answering you because she was still counting. She was yeah, still, still counting. Still counting. And she's saying pots. They're basically like ceramic vases. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Right. But they so they've are, got plants and think plants and flowers in them, yeah? Oh, no, most of them oh, have nothing. Empty. No, no right. most of them are empty. That's, well, that's 17. 17. Empty pots is madder than full pots. And they revealed at the same time oh, a lounge room, that um, a yes. living room that, that uh, joined, and yes. that had a whole bunch of pots in there as so well. So that was just the dining room. I'm sorry, 17 pots or vases in one room. Mm room is, as she said, whack job territory. <laughs> That's a whack job there. Yeah, no, you're right. She's and whack job. When someone's got too much of the same thing or something in one room, it needs to be called out. Especially yeah, for the person that probably lives with them because they're doing the, they're, they're living under duress. Yes. I, I talked about a mate that used to do this some share house. It was this weird house where all these random guys lived. It was so gross. Anyway, and I'd go around there the first time ever and I walked into the kitchen and I counted five fridges. There were oh, five guys many living there and they each got their own full-size fridge. And then I went, well, this is stupid. No, the stupid thing was hang- waiting for me in the lounge room when I went there and there were five three-seater couches. Oh. And were the there room, five TVs? Natalie, there was one TV. There was not room enough for two three-seater yeah, couches. So they're wedged so in So they're there. basically wedged on different angles like someone didn't know how to play Tetris properly. Yes, but you can't share a couch in you a couch. You can't share, share a couch, like couch especially so with random single yes, men that exactly. don't know each other, have their own fridge. Yeah. That was weird. That, no? That, that was weird. That yeah, was no. weird. Now, we don't want to hear about no, cushions or candles. Cushions. We get that. No, come on. That's just Megan McNamara. I want to hear about... <laughs> someone's got 200 <laughs> crystal owls. I've got two, or, like, 200 bottles of gin. Maybe. How many remote many? controls do you have in your house? We had that uh, uh, listener who rang up about her dolls that time. Yeah. 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 We don't fun. want that. We, want, we, we don't really need like, unusual stuff. We just need... What, it's way too much of it's it. It's just too many too of that thing. Too much of it. We're going to give somebody $150 to get away with Atlas Fuel. We'll Ooh, give you lovely. A voucher. Yeah, not bad. Find your local WA owned and operated fuel supplier at atlasfuel.com.au. Cool. Free petrol. Free fuel. Take All that. right. Have you got too much of something at your like, house? Way too much. Bonnie, hello. Hi. Hi, Hi Bonnie. Bonnie. Have you got too much of something at your house? Oh, uh, my husband has eight bo- between barbecues and pizza ovens, and they all work, and we use them regularly. And this is in an alfresco, probably three by four size. <laughs> oh my god, Bonnie! <laughs> so, yeah. he love to, so he loves to cook clearly and use all these different yeah. um, contraptions. Yeah. So, is there like a bunch sure. of barbecues that are the same, or is it just like no, ones a smoker, they're all ones? Different. Yeah. 
all different. So we have a, a pellet smoker, a gravity smoker, um, an offset smoker. We have a wood barbecue. We have a spit roaster. We have a wood-fired oven, and then we have an, a pizza oven that goes into the, one of the barbecues, and um, we have an egg. Oh, yes, we have one, one of those eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. You yeah. really wish that you lived by the water because you could have just had Noah's Ark just like yeah. pull up and you <laughs> no, can just like walk all the animals yeah. down <laughs> straight on and the each barbecue. can have their own barbecue. Does he ever yeah. have yeah. more than one going at the same time? What's the max he's had at the same time going? Oh, yeah. So if we have people over, we might have the egg going with some charcoal in and we've got something smoking in the smoker and there could be something on the rotisserie on the spit <laughs> <roaster>. <laughs> It must so smell good at your house. Oh, how good like. would it be? Oh, an invite over for dinner. Oh, imagine if a vegan lived nearby. I know. Oh, be oh, yeah. no, <laughs> not. Amazing. Eight barbecues. Whoa. Nice work. Thanks, Bonnie. Janelle, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Hi Janelle. Okay, what have you got too many of at your house? Well, it's not me. It's my mum. Mm. She's got seven sewing machines. <laughs> In the one room? <laughs> yes. Seven? That's she's a lot. One, yeah, she's got a sewing, a dedicated sewing room, and she's got seven machines. She uh, lives by herself. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you know, we get our fixing. Me and my sisters and my brother get our fixing done there. But um, you never know what colour cotton you're going to get. She likes to have a different colour on each machine. <laughs> yeah, right. And she doesn't think to change it to match no. the fabric. She's like, we're just going to go well, with got, whatever Natalie, got. How much time has she got to, to bloody change the cotton well, on all those impossible. machines? Yeah. Yeah. Is she... You go. I think she doesn't want to. I think she doesn't want to change cotton. That's why she has so many. So, yeah, right. okay. yeah. Yeah. so instead yeah. of changing she, the bobbin, she, she just spies yeah. another machine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Has she taught in this field, Janelle? Um, well, yeah, growing up, I think she was taught by her mum or at yeah. school. So, she, you know, she's good at it. But, I mean, I got some jeans fixed the other day and they were denim jeans and they had... Um, I think normally it was like a dark blue cotton and yep. she thought a cream would be good. A yeah. cream? Yeah, make a, a feature. Cream a, feature <laughs> a feature. A feature hem. Like a pair of Levi's. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You, just, you never oh, know what you're going to get. Decorative top stitching. But you know what? It's really great to have her in the family, though. Yeah, that's right. You know right. Somebody I mean? that fixes if, things if, for if you. If you need pants hem, that's like Indeed. at least 10 bucks. That's right. At Saved. least. Money. Yeah. Saved. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful work. Let's move on to Heather. Hi, Heather. Hello. Hi, Hi, Heather. Hi. Right. So, Heather, we're talking about a room that has way too many of the one thing in it. What is it? Um, well, it's my whole house. Mm. It's actually rugs. Um, rugs? And, uh, rugs, yeah. Like, I don't know why. I sort of went through a separation and got <laughs> given some, and I was yes. like, yeah, I'm keeping that. That's yes. mine. Yes. And then just added and added, and now I have bloody rugs. Do you have house. rugs on have top rugs of rugs? rugs? Have you done yes. that? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Rugs. Um, garage. Outside, yeah, it's, it's not, it's just become a thing. Okay, ballpark kid. number, ballpark number. Um, do a, bit, do a quick count. House. I'd say about 11, 12, maybe. 12 <laughs> rugs. <laughs> no, there's more than that. You can hear it. She's lying. There's, there's I'm going to say about 16 Bathroom, rugs. Yeah. Because, yeah, I I've only have one rug. I've got six. You've got six rugs? Yeah, because each of the bedrooms is a rug in it. No, I yep. don't. And then I've got a oh, you big don't have carpet, rug. No, no carpet. Boards, big, car- big rug in the lounge room. And yep. then two. I've got a very long hallway, so two hall runners. Oh, hall okay. runners. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't know if people did hall runners anymore. Mm. Didn't know mm. if it was Otherwise, a thing. Otherwise, it's very oh, clumpy. Oh, yeah, I yeah. get what you're talking about. How many yeah. rugs do you have, Sean? God, I reckon we've got a few because all the kids, almost all of them have got to lock a rug at the end of their bed on the on the carpet. I don't know why. Yeah. Can I just say, isn't that disgusting that parents these days yeah. go, I bet I have to accessorise my child's room with a rug. We didn't even know what rugs were no. growing up. A pipeline bed. We were lucky best. to have a floor. We didn't. The, the closest <laughs> we had to a rug when we were kids was a bath mat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't, get, didn't get better than that. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, Heather. We've got $150 uh, to spend at Atlas Fuels. In Free fact, it's fuel. a voucher. Check them out, everyone. Find your local WA-owned and operated fuel supply at atlasfuel.com.au. It's going to go to Bonnie for about the barbecues of her husband because so we invite for some... So many barbecues. For a feed. That'd By the way, amazing. we just get past the fact that Heather told us after the breakup everyone was trying to look after us without giving her rugs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Or did she get the rugs in the separation? A, I don't know. No, I don't know. Just some rugs. Some people get the pets. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, so sorry. Heather, Heather can, can we get, we get back to Heather. Sorry, Heather. Heather, Heather? W- were you given the rugs as gifts to mend your broken heart or were the rugs part of your settlement? No, they were pretty expensive. You talk about freedom and domain ones yes. and things. So, yeah. yeah, I was yeah, not letting them go. Yes. So, okay, so, so, yeah, were, so you got, so them, you in the got them in the divorce. And you went, you got, yeah. all of them, you got all the rugs from your, your marital table, home. I have a 
Yeah, I have a few coffee tables too. So. <laughs> hey, the, so you so you wanted the rugs, and say so the coffee tables. Why not? Because you can put one on each yes. rug. What did he want? What did he really want? Um, Was there anything? He just got the house, I suppose. Oh, I suppose okay, that's. Well, to be honest, I prefer the house. <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank you for clearing that up oh, for us, Heather. Only one winner yeah. in that one. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Ali was just uh, brought up by Joe Biden. In yeah, the we heard him. Mm. Um, uh, he was been over in Vietnam with all mm. the other world leaders tackling some of the world issues. And um, this, he, he's, he's reached an age now where I think everyone around him is worried. They are. About it's... every next step or every next word that comes out of his mouth. Now, he's up doing a speech in front of everybody. He starts to ramble. Then you know, <laughs> when, you're at, you know when you're at the Academy Awards and they play music and yeah. play you off? You would never think they would do that to a US president. His own staff member, uh, his own uh, secretary of, um, what is it? Yeah, the press secretary, she's the one that called it and said, yeah. um, play get him the music off. and get him off. They turned his microphone off as well. Then he Did kept on turning, they a turned it back off. Hook, like, hook him they off. needed Whoa. to, because then he started talking again, and then they, they, they turned the music up even louder to shut him up. But the music, can I just say, the choice of music is so bizarre and brilliant. We're going to need to discuss it for 10 hours afterwards. Here we go. The, uh, the, the, uh, the Southern Hemisphere had access to change. It had access. We, it wasn't confrontational at all. You came with me. Thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank, the press thank, conference. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Smooth jazz. That's, that's for them. It's to calm me down. down. Are you ready to go this way? The interest of both of you right here. Person I've dealt with. Mr. President, I'm worried right about your son being indicted, Mr. President. And they turned the music back on, and then he just wandered off stage, not really knowing where he was going. Nathan, they literally put him on hold. Yes, listen to this. Music is so funny. It's like sexy jazz. Yeah, oh, sexy. Calm, calm down there. Is that not insane? I've, I've never pack. heard that ever. You don't do. You know why? Because no one, I don't think, has ever yes. done that to a president before. Yeah. Because well, they're it's only. It's a press conference, yes. too, so they're trying to stop the yes. press. Oh, no, I understand the press yeah. with the, yeah. that kind of scenario, yes. but then. It was like a speech. But, but at the a, voice at a getting gathering. up there yeah. and. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then the clincher, yeah. of course, is playing the person off with sexy jazz. <laughs> at the end of the night where you've been chatting to someone over a smoke-filled room, you invite them back to your house, there's something on the rocks. They look at you, you look at them, you go, I'm going to put something more comfortable on. You come back out and they're gone. And, no. and, you're, and you're wearing a robe and no knickers. <laughs> that's how it works. That's, 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 that's how it works. Right. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.